Memories are fragile. Every time you call a memory forward, when you put it back, you're synthesizing new proteins. So the memory that goes back into storage is not the same memory that you recalled. So as you recall that memory, it's fragile. I can monkey with it. I can tinker with it, but I'm only tinkering with the images and the sensations. So it's different than hypnosis. Hypnosis is the process you're not actively taking part in and don't remember after. It's like a lucid dream. You are aware every step of the way what we're doing. You're actively and voluntarily choosing what images that you want to replace and the storyline that you want to replace that horrible episode with. So by the time I get done using either tapping or moving people's eyes, something to create bilateral stimulation while we're recalling the memory and calming their nervous system, we process that memory and then we change the association to it. By the end of the session, you can tell me every detail of what happened, but you don't see it and you don't feel it anymore. And that is where the transformation is. It's not the story that triggers people. It's the images and the sensations from the story, that are the bothersome part. That's what your nervous system is reacting to. That's what it needs to integrate.